Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? So I like to color in Nomad Sculpt. A lot of people bring it to uh, procreate, things like that. I just like to color directly in Nomad. So I'm going to show you how I, how I do that. So here is my little Mickey sculpt. And I already have some color on him, but I'm going to turn everything white. And then we're going to color him some other color. So basically you just go down here, this little circle or this little sphere with a line across it, tap it, and then you have all your paint options. And I'll just go to white and rough for the moment. And as you can see, uh, this black is still here on the head, and this is because I'm using a layer. So this mesh, the head, uh, right now it's pretty, um, it's 396K, so it's super dense. Um, it's very high res and there's ways that I can I could bring that down even with this paint um, But I'm not really I'm not gonna do anything else with it. So I'm, I'm just probably just gonna keep it. So I used a layer. So if you go here, then you have your layers. Oh This is just for the inside of the mouth. I made an extra layer for that and then I made a layer for the black and the reason I did that is because you know, this is pretty much the, sh the shape of the of his coloring but if i want to make uh, his skin a different color then i can just go to the base and i can color the skin you know if i want to you know color whatever color i want if i want to make it that color i can more of a, a classic mickey color actually i actually wonder what the classic mickey color is maybe something like that but then I don't know, because his body is black in the older ones. Maybe in all of the Mickeys, his body is black. But anyway, so I don't want to do just like regular colors. I want to do like, kind of like weird, far out colors. So maybe we'll do like a pink one. Let's make the background a different color too. Sometimes I like to just make everything one color and then sort of slowly kind of make it interesting from there. So that's black. Let's make his body black too. I have his body all connected. So I joined everything, all these parts that are black. So maybe we'll make those, maybe we'll just keep them black. So I'm gonna use this little eyedropper to get this color. And then I'll tap on this again. Just, just wanna make sure I'm on the body. Whoops. And then you can just paint all. And then it'll be black. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll make the ears pink. It's kind of random. We'll make the ears a glossy pink. And maybe the, maybe his gloves. Let's make these black. So I just kind of go back and forth. Let's make his eyes. What color should his eyes be? Maybe gold. Uh, there's there's uh, colors that are already set. So just tap this sphere and you can get to some pre pre done colors and textures. Uh, usually when I do gold, I bring the roughness up because it just kind of looks better. Um, because when the roughness is down, it just always looks too dark. It never looks how I want how I want it to look as far as gold. I might change it. They might, might be interesting as a different uh, um, material as well. Although I just changed the material and you can't really see it. But you can see it with his additive, but you can't see it with refraction. Let's see. If I bring the metalness down, then you can kind of see. Then it gets kind of weird. Interesting. Go back to opaque. Let's make the tongue gold too. And notice how I just used the eyedropper to get that gold. And that's that's how I go back and forth with colors. I don't know why I kind of like that. Make those gold too. All right, his sh shoesies. Maybe I'll make the soles. Do we want to give him gold shoes? It's kind of fresh. Let's give him pink shorts. It's kind of fresh. I kind of like it. Um, 
And maybe just for fun, I'll add something else in the scene. Uh, I'm gonna save this as color. And let's just throw something else in the scene just for fun. Uh, I have my computer, froggies. Pudges. Let's throw a puff in there. And these are all characters from my Kawaii class. Um, I can't remember if I baked it. If I ba if I baked. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, so I didn't bake it, which means I can paint it the same color and well maybe I'll add I'll make this stuff gold too it's kind of fun and let's let's add something else too sorry now I'm just having fun it happens peas oh the, the drug free Dave logo that would be kind of cool See what other assets I have. Game device, Pixie Cat. Oh, let's do the let's do the popsicle. So we'll bring it down. And one little cool little trick I'm going to do, I'm going to set it to orthographic, and then I'm going to bring the pivot down to the floor. So I tap pivot, bring the pivot down to the floor, tap pivot again. So now I can sort of move it around and resize it, and it won't get too crazy. Let's make it small. And let's change the color. Oh, so the color kind of changes. Yeah, the color kind of changes, unfortunately. So, but we'll make it all pink. Or all gold. Oh, we'll make the stick pink. Nice. It's kind of interesting. You, if you look close, you can see that I, this is like low res. But that's okay. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, you can't really see the eyes. Let's see how it looks in post process. It always things always look very different in post process, so you have to make sure you look. You know, you check out the details in post process. Uh, the overhead light seems a little bright. That also affects color, as you can see. It's like the pink is very different depending on your lights. So this top down light is actually changing the color a lot. So I can either just turn it off, or I can uh, lower the intensity a little bit. That looks kind of cool. And here's my one view. I kind of like the I kind of like the view. Oh, forgot the nose. Let's make that. Oh, I don't know. Should we make it? Um, let's try it pink first. Oops. So let's try it glossy pink first. Uh, that's kind of boring. Let's try it gold. Gold is kind of interesting. And let's try it black. I think I think gold wins it. I want to see if the, what the ears would look like if they were gold too.
Hmm. Oh wait, Anna, sorry. I didn't realize the color was so weird. That's so strange. Well, this is really what it looks like. I have to, remember, I have to look up more often so I can see. Um, I think I like the pink. I think I like the pink. That's fresh. my view. Should I, should I switch up the view a little bit? That's kind of a cool, cool scene too. So I'm going to spin this backdrop. Let me just turn uh, post process off again. I'm just going to spin the backdrop so I have a little bit more real estate. And I'll turn it on. Um, also, the, the last thing I wanted to tell you, see how I have it so clean here? And the way that I have it so clean, let me save this view as well. I always save them in new numerical order. So if you want to get it like really clean, when you look close, like you can still see that it's not completely clean, but I'll just go to, I'll tap on the head. I go to the black, the head layer. And the way, the way that I got it so clean is from using dynamic topology. So that's this little diamond here, dynamic topology. I have it enabled. Uh, here are my settings and I'll use paint, but I can actually use erase. So I'm using the paint tool, but I can actually use erase. And you want to make sure that it's on here. So I'll tap that. I'll make it a little bit smaller too. So dynamic topology is on, erase is on. And now I'll just try to... Just cut it really close. And that's how I get such... That's how I get these clean lines with dynamic topology. No, it's uber clean. And that's the difference between, um, whoops, let me take it off of a race. If I go like this with the gold, it looks pretty good. But if I don't have dynamic topology on and I'm just trying to paint, um, a lot of times it looks like that. Even though this is a very high res, um, it's very high res, it still does that. And that's because I manipulated a lot of this area like a lot of this, I added like inflate and smooth and all that stuff. So even though it's a high res, uh, that still affects it. And that's why sometimes it can get really ugly unless you use dynamic topology. And then it looks a little bit better. And sometimes I use dynamic topology, like I was showing you, and then I erase. I'll go in really close and erase. And you can get it really clean. But again, you really have to have a high res, a high res mesh. Um, but yeah, then you can go watch the video on baking so that I can take this and I can bake it on a low res. So it'll maintain the detail and look great, but not be 440. But I'm not going to do it here because it doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure you check out my UV baking video and you'll see how I make high res things with with definition and then i i just bake them on all right i think that's it let's go ahead and put post process back on and let's go to our view our new view and then we'll export and i will see you in uh, once this thing exports i know 4k keep drawing keep sculpting i'll see you all in the next video
Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're really serious about learning, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to my website, drugfreedave.com. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.